Try. That's called a head voice. Say ah. 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 Already in. Her father and I met, and she came to the stage, and we just started singing. And I got goosebumps up my arm. This That was amazing. No way I'm doing this, there's no way. Hi everyone, I'm Ziv and welcome to my channel. Living in China as an expat child doesn't mean you have to give up your dreams. Actually, you may even dream bigger. This is the land of business opportunities, but foreign kids have more and more chances to shine their own way here. Today I'm here to talk to James Anderson. He's a music teacher from America and Maria Rose, she's a 12-year-old who has uh, recently reached the finals of Sing China in Guangdong, a province of over 100 million people. This is Voices from China. Hey James. Where are we now? What is this place? It's kind of cool. We're at this really amazing piano shop. It's in Nanchong in Dongguang. And Maria got her start here, actually. Okay. Her very first class was upstairs, which we'll show you later. And this is where all the magic happened with Maria and the start to her career in music. And we teach many other students here in this beautiful place. Right, so they sell pianos and also teach pianos. Yeah, and, they and sell pianos, they teach piano, they tune pianos. Uh, it's really an amazing shop. They've been here for many, many years. All right, okay, so let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Let's go. All right, Ziv, so we're going to introduce you to the vocal class. Have you ever sang before? Uh, shower. Shower, okay, shower is good, it has good reverb, that's good. Yes. Anything else? KTV. KTV? So you're drinking a lot, you're drunk, so when you're Only drunk, when do I we need cried? to have a beer together? Yes. Drink. Now, so before we sing, we must warm up our bodies. It's really important, actually. Because if your jaw is tight, when Maria cracks a note, it's because she didn't actually practice and didn't warm up. You do this and every, then, every as lesson? A, as a teacher, I get very right angry, yes, that's true. It's almost like preparing for sport. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now we have a, a chest voice. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Say ah. 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 Ready? One, two, ah, go. Ah. ah. Well, you can sing, Ziv. Ah. It's getting worse. Again. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, you're natural. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Maria is going to demonstrate to you a part of a song, and I want you to do your best to copy her. Okay. Can you do it? I'll try. Uh. All we need, all we need is hope. That was amazing. No way I'm doing this. There's no way. Good All right. Job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Good job, Ziv. You have potential. You have potential. You have to potential. do the breathing exercise. I wanted to hear you try it, but okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. There's no way. All right. Let's sit down and talk. Yeah, let's bit. do it. All right. Let's go. James, so I want to know, when did you start uh, teaching music, being a vocal coach? Yeah, I started probably about 20 years ago now is when I really started to coach kids. 20 years ago? Yeah. In New York? Yeah, in New York, yeah. And, and why is that? You were into music? No, I was in music all my whole life. Right. And, and I grew up actually in church music. And so I started music when I was about five, six years old, piano and trumpet and singing. Right, so you teach uh, uh, piano? That's right. You're a vocal coach? That's right. What else do you do with music? 
Uh, I'm a performer as well. Are you and uh, I performed on many stages singing solos and more recently here in China actually I, I sang at the uh, Shanghai Concert Hall on Ursha Island in Guangzhou. Oh, okay. And we did a, uh, a night of Broadway music which is my specialty coming from where I come from. Cool. And how long have you been in China? I've been in China now for about seven years. All right. When did you start teaching uh, Maria? Maria, about a year and a half ago, and actually it started right on this stage. Okay. This stage? Like this stage. This room? This stage. Right. We actually should get her autograph right now because she's going to be famous someday. All right. Okay. All right, Maria. So when did you start singing? When do you remember you sing first? Um, probably when I was a little kid, maybe three years old. Three? Ever since I could remember, I guess. What drawn you to that? Did you remember? like? I don't remember much, but I think I've always had a passion for music. Okay. Whether it was dancing or singing or playing an instrument, I've okay. always been attracted to music. So family gatherings or whatever opportunities you always sang? Yeah, or dance. In front of audience? Yeah. Yeah, family? Yeah. Right, okay. So maybe it's a difficult question, but like, why, are you, like, what do you love about it? You said you, you always had passion, but can you, what do you like about singing? Singing and just music in general. It's like a form of expressing your emotions. Okay. Yeah. So it's a way to give joy to the world, I'd say that. And maybe it makes you feel like yourself. You, you yeah. Obviously you're comfortable doing that, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, when did you first realize you're good? Uh, oh, or did you? <laughs> did you? Um, <laughs> maybe when I started class and then started going to competitions. Okay. Realized I could win these competitions, so maybe I realized that I could. Have so you're still on the, on the road of understanding and realizing you're yeah. actually good. Yeah. Right. Okay. How do you know when someone is good? How do you know when someone has potential, or however you want to? That's call a it? great question. I'll tell you how when I met Maria and uh, her father and I met, and she came to the stage and we just started singing, and. I got goosebumps on my arm. This kid had this natural ability that not every kid has. Some kids really have to work hard. Maria does have to work hard, but you could feel that she had the tone, the pitch, the stylistic approach at 11 years old is not normal for her age. Right. She's blushing. <laughs> yes. All right. So, okay. Like, okay, so you, you had goosebumps and uh, you can what, feel it. what's the challenges that she has? Like, how, how does she do well in learning, in developing her voice? Like, is she a good student? And, you know... <laughs> yeah, you're laughing, so maybe... I think challenges, you know, when I first met her, she could sing, she had a natural ability. But our voice is a muscle. She yeah. didn't know how to train her muscle. Right. And learning to train the muscle takes time. It's like bodybuilders, their muscle doesn't get huge overnight. It takes a lot of hard work and discipline. And I think that's her hardest thing right now. Because she's 12, sure. she's learning that discipline. And slowly but surely, she's starting to listen to me a little more. Oh, so she's uh, rebellion? Uh, no, no, no. She's a kid. She wants to have fun. OK. All right. Yeah, makes sense. And you started class with, classes with James only a year and a half ago, right? Mm -hmm. Did you have any classes before, before that? Singing, no. But dancing and playing other instruments like piano and the violin, yeah. Right, OK. And uh, um, it seems that uh, you're half Filipino, mm -hmm. right? Your mom is from the Philippines. Filipino, yeah. Your dad is from the okay. USA. Yeah. Um, it seems that a lot of Filipinos are really good musicians, right? Yeah. Uh, any explanation for that? Like, I think it's just in the culture. It's the culture. Um, everyone can love singing, but I guess most Filipinos love singing. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. So it's something maybe like Jem said before, he started kind of in church in a way, yeah, right? Maybe. In the Philippines, right. All right. Um, what's the most important thing uh, for someone developing their voice, someone like Maria? Uh, is, it, is it the discipline that you just mentioned or is there anything else? I think it's like anything in life that we're trying to learn. Uh, it's practice and discipline and, and keeping our dedication and more importantly, being passionate about what we do. And Maria is a passionate singer. She loves to sing. And I think loving what you're trying to learn is the most important thing. Because then it's easy. I can go home and I can sing. It's not like working a job. She loves what she does. Right. And uh, she just recently did the uh, Sing China, yeah, right? Yeah. Is it something that you pushed her to do? or 
Uh, yeah, I think we both agreed. We, she, you know, just to come here and learn from me, there's no point. She's got to get on a bigger stage. And in China, the voice of China, like it used to be called now, Sing China, it's probably one of the biggest stages. And we got her on the stage, and let me tell you, she wowed everybody yeah. that this little young girl can get on the stage and sing like that. It was amazing. Right. So recently, you, uh, just a few weeks ago, right, you ended up your run in the uh, Sing China. You. How many levels did you pass? Like, there were quite a few, right? Like, local and another, yes. Mm -hmm. um, more than five. Five. So there were five times you had to go and compete. More than that. More than that. And the last one was the province, the province's uh, finals, right? Yeah. And there were 65? 65, 65 contestants. And you finished ninth? Yes. And you're supposed to go to Beijing or to somewhere where yeah. they do the finals of the country. Yeah. But what happened? My age. Your age. Brought me down. <laughs> so they said you're too young. Sorry, but you cannot yeah. go to the national finals, right? How was the experience? How did you feel? It was. It was fun. It was. It helped me get a lot of exposure out of it, and it gave me a lot of experience okay. on the stage. And then also made me make new friends. That and yeah. So you made new friends in the competitions, yeah. like the other Contestants. girls, and it's it's boys and girls, right? Yeah. I guess. Right. Were you the only foreigner? Yes. Uh, that made you feel different, like, or you were comfortable with that? Um, it made me feel a little bit different, but then in some of the later competitions, some other contestants sang English songs, so I wasn't that alone. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so you've been in China since you were one. Yes. Right. You're 12 now. Yes. Right. Do you think you'd have these opportunities back home? Or more of them? Less of them? Any... any? I'm not too sure because sure? I don't know other places except for China. Okay. And you know, to be a star nowadays, it's, it's much more than a voice, right? I, I can even think of some stars that their voice is not so great, but they are stars and they're good because there is performance and moving your body or, you know, is it something that you guys talk about? Is it something that... Yeah, one of the things we really work about is uh, work on right now is stage presence. Okay. Uh, because it's one thing to get up there and hold a microphone and sing, but it's another thing to get up there and show your emotion about the song. Every song has a meaning. And, and singing is communicating a story. If we can't communicate a story, no one wants to listen. So as she gets older, she can develop more of that emotion, understanding what the song is about and then communicating in that. And that's what right. we're we're working really hard on right now. She's got the singing voice, she's got the pipe, she can belt like Mariah Carey, no problem. But she still needs that emotion to come out. But that comes with maturity. It's a lot of compliments from you. Yeah, right? she's good. What so can I understanding the lyrics, yeah. connecting to the song. That's right. But she's young, right? So some songs may be difficult to yeah, connect especially with. Especially with the meaning, but you know, right. You have to put yourself in character, just right. like any movie star. They get on the set, they're either a killer, they're a drug dealer, they're this or that. No, it's not their real profession in life, that's not what they do, but sure. they put themselves into the character. They're practicing so the getting game. her to really do the research and understand the song, it's one thing to sit down at the piano and we sing the song, but then we need to go on the internet and, and learn what is the song about? Why did this composer write it this way? It's important. That makes sense. So what do you think her chances are in, in becoming professional, right? Uh, well, here's the thing, I don't want to make her head too big. Right. So if she wasn't here, I'd know. She's, she has a lot of potential to become a superstar. But for me, I want her to do it the right way. I'm not a father, I'm a coach, but I want her to go to college. I want her to go step by step. A lot of kids just go off to stardom, and then after stardom, what do they have left? And, but Maria, she has the potential to rise to that level, but only if she wants it. All right. All right. More lessons during this interview, Maria. Are there any songs that uh, are too difficult? for you to sing? Of course there are songs that are too difficult to sing. I mean, everyone has... Like he own. said, you can sing like Maria Carey. So, <laughs> I don't know. Because of my age and my abilities at the moment, of course there are going to be songs that are too hard to sing. But I guess it will, I will be able to sing them maybe once I'm older and once I have more experience with a vocal coach. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, do you also teach Chinese kids? Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of Chinese kids. Is there kids. any difference? I mean, Maria is a foreigner, right? She is American, uh, Filipina, and she's been around and she's been exposed to different things. Is there any difference in teaching Chinese kids and foreign kids? I, I mean, to be honest, every kid has their own skill level, so I can't compare one culture to the next mm -hmm. culture. What I can tell you, the only obstacle sometimes is the language barrier, because I don't speak Chinese. Right. 
Uh, so sometimes learning English songs, if their English isn't that great, or understanding my instruction can be challenging, but we always find a way around it. Music is a universal language, right? right? And the same note C on the keyboard is the same note in Chinese or in my language. Right. So it's quite universal. So I would say there's not a lot of challenges, just sometimes language barriers. Someone told me that actually learning a language through singing is a, a good thing. That's right. The scientific knowledge that actually when kids start uh, learning music at a young age, they learn English faster than the kid who right. didn't. And uh, wh what's your favorite music? And, and do you sing your favorite music? Or does it go in the same direction? Like, or? My, my music taste is all over the place. Okay. So it could range from like R&B to rap. Okay. But I sing more pop and I listen to a lot of pop too, so... Okay. You, you probably listen to a lot of music. Music is a big part of your life, not just singing, yeah. right? So like every day, all the time, you yeah. probably just listen to music mm -hmm. and discovering new music and everything, right? Yeah. All right. Um, where do you see yourself? I mean, you're 12, right? Um, in, in five years, in 10 years, how do you see your career developing later on? What's your wishes, you know? Um, I wish to get on big stages, maybe even get famous, who knows. Mm. But for right now, my plan is just having competitions, like right now, and going to school, of course. <laughs> so you, you, you're not like, uh, you don't put your dreams too crazy from what yeah. you just said right now, okay. You want to go step by step, yeah. and you wish to do big stages. Yeah, and possibly get famous, if I could. Possibly get famous, <laughs> okay. If we go by this guy, you get famous. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, so thanks, James. Ah, thanks, thank Maria. You. Thank you. And uh, this was Voices from China. If you enjoy the content, uh, please give the video a like, a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Until we see you next time, have a great day.